What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another video for you guys and this one is actually going to be a collection video. So if anybody who is new to this channel and enjoys videos related to anything, taste tests, food reviews, physical media, out and aboats, wrestling, video games, all kinds of things. So if you're into any of that that I just mentioned, this channel is definitely for you. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you are already here and you subscribe and you're just returning to watch another one of my videos, Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. So everybody, remember, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. But like I was saying, this is actually a collection video. You can kind of see a glimpse of it right there. I will be going through my TV series, TV shows, Blu-ray and DVD collection. And you probably won't see me that much through this video. You'll just hear my voice because I'm going to have... I'm not taking them out of the, sh the shelf. I'm just going to leave them as they are. So it's a little easier and quicker to kind of just go through them. And of course, I'll talk a very little about certain ones. So guys, if you really want to see what I got from my collection of TV series, stay tuned. All right. So here we are in the hallway where my TV show shelf is and my cat, of course. Can't go anywhere without it. Right, Luna? But yeah, just going to start right here. Everything above there you see there is all the stuff that's listed online on my eBay and Macari. But starting off here, they're all, of course, in alphabetical order. There's a few that's not organized, but you got Two Broke Girls. Basically, the complete series, Adventures of Pete and Pete, Season 1 and 2. Gotta get that 90s Nickelodeon goodies going. Got some American Horror Stories. Are You Afraid of the Dark, the complete series on Blu-ray. I'm gonna cut right into a scene now about... It's not where it should be, but I have a couple DVDs of Are Afraid of the Dark. I'm going to show you right now. And this is what I was talking about. Um, sorry, I haven't edited this way, but I didn't have everything all organized. And I kind of had in my mind, I'm going to put them aside with me so I don't forget. But I forgot. It is what it is. But anyways, I do have the original releases of Are Afraid of the Dark Season 1 and Season 2. Even though I have the complete series on a better quality, it's a bootleg. But I love this show so much, I do want to try to collect all the originals as much as I can. And these are the auto-print ones, not like the made-on-demand. Alright, moving on. We got the complete series of Arrow on Blu-ray. Of course, one of them is the exclusive Steelbook. I'll be doing that too. I'll be pulling out like the exclusives certain ones that I got. Oh yeah, this one here, American Horror Story, is the Target exclusive. Comes with a bonus disc, I'll show you. Let's see. Right there is the Target bonus disc. Alright, so moving on now, we got all the stale books of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Season 1, 2, and 3. Right there. And then just one season of Batwoman. I thought I was going to collect them all, but I was like, nah, didn't enjoy it after the first season. Got pretty bad. I mean, it was okay, but still, not collecting them. Beavis and Butthead, complete collection. I will mention I do enjoy the CW series with the DC movies, or not movies, but TV shows. I'm sorry. All right, Nikos, Big Bang Theory. Can never get sick of this show. I got the whole series. I still laugh at it to this day, like I seen it for the first time, basically. Love that show so much. One of my favorites of all time. All right, where is it? There's a Best Buy exclusive right here. This was a Best Buy exclusive lenticular cover. Surprisingly, it's not worth much. It's a slip cover too. They're just posing like they're holding lightsabers and everything. But I really like that. I thought it was cool. And of course, we got Boy Meets World, the complete collection. What are you doing over there, Luna? Stop it. Boy Meets World Complete Collection, and I do have, let's see if I can find it, an autograph in here somewhere. Right here. Apologize for the camera moving in very odd ways. But here I got the autograph of, not exactly sure who that is, let's see. We got Daniel Harris right there. To Panger, of course. Above there, I want to say is I know I got Ben Savage as Corey and Ryder Strong as Sean, which I think that's Ryder Strong. That should be Ben Savage. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, got their autograph. Just gonna put that down right there. And of course, we got California Dreams. Uh, they only released four seasons on DVD, so kind of st stunk that way. But 
Here we got, I got more autographs when I met them when I went to their reunion concert at the Say by the Max restaurant in LA a few years back. They basically signed above their heads, so two of them were missing. She was missing, and the guy at the end, this one right here, he, he was, they did an interview on TV with him, so. But he wasn't there to sign anything, sadly. And of course, moving on, we got Cat Dog, the complete series, of course, Nickelodeon. I got this, I wasn't collecting them, but it was only like $2, so I was like, why not? Charmed. And then you got Clarissa Explains It All. This is the only one season they released on DVD, but of course, um, collecting those 90s Nickelodeons. I'm a late 80s, 90s kid, basically. Creepshow Season 1. I do have Season 2. Hold on one sec. A little camera movement and see if I can find it. Right there, Creepshow Season 2. I enjoy that one. Moving on, we got Dark Angel Seasons 1 and 2. I believe that was the complete series. Then we have Jay and Silent Bob. The dog is... Jay, what's up? What are you doing? What? What is it? All right, moving on. Jay, Jay and Silent Bob, when they were on the Grassy show. I like Jay and Silent Bob, so that's why I got that. I only have first and second season of Dinosaurs. Dollhouse was okay. I just got it because it was the Comic-Con exclusive. Figuring it was going to be worth big money one day. And I, I do like Eliza Dushku, Dushku, whatever her name is. So that's why I got that. And of course, another Nickelodeon show, Doug. Complete series. Every Indiana, this is one of the real ones. Complete series. And you got Flash. This is one of the Best Buy exclusive still books. I think it was Best Buy. Could have been Target. And another still book. Sorry, it's getting a little dark on this section of the hallway. Flintstones Season 1. Freaks and Geeks. This was the Shelf Factory edition. The Blu ray. It comes with like a widescreen. And the full frame, I believe, Full House Season 1. We'll have this nice, complete series of Full House in the actual house where the roof comes off. And the DVD case, I believe, opens up and all that. But I'm not going to really do an unboxing type thing for you guys. Just showing off my collection. And hi, Texas Chainsaw Massacre over there with that little truck right there. And Laura Croft and The Fiend. Let me in. Oh, hi, Friday. Ghost Whisperer Season 1 and another real one right here. From the early 90s, we got Ghost Rider. Love that show. And of course here, these aren't organized. They got Stranger Things, the 4K Blu-ray combos. The VHS is the Target exclusive. That's the regular Blu-ray. 4K. 4K, and then we got... That's a movie. That's not even a TV show. Pokemon's and movies. But here we got A Guilty Pleasure. Sam and Cat. This was a Nickelodeon show. Let's see. Moving on, we have... This is a bootleg. I, it was only $10, which is why I got it. Complete series of Goosebumps. I really enjoyed Gotham, which is why I got this. The whole series. This is a Best Buy exclusive. It came with like a bonus disc. It's a whole complete series. Ground for Life. It's a little case show. It's pretty funny, but I'm not collecting them. I just got it once. I um, Let's see what season is that first. Because it was just really cheap. Hey Arnold, the complete season. Hey Dude Season 1, that was at Dollar Tree at one point, so I got it. And this here is one of my favorite shows ever, Holliston. For those who might know, Adam Green, the director of Hatchet and Victor Crowley. He's actually from Massachusetts, as I am as well. So, And of course, I got the Holliston cast to sign that. Sadly, I forget the guy's name from Gore, the one that passed away recently. And Joe Lynch wasn't there, so I got the blonde girl right there. I got her to sign it. I got that girl to sign it. And of course, Adam Green with his head. Definitely recommend looking this show up. Holliston, it's a horror comedy about two filmmakers in the film industry that are trying to make it. But they're trying to get the money and stuff to, you know. And they just bump into some crazy stuff. Just check it out. You won't regret it. Warning. The following program contains violence, sexual content, graphic decapitation and tons of other awesome moments I feel like horror comedy and here we have instant star 
Uh, it's a show that was on the same network as Degrassi. It was like based out of Canada. It's about a, that girl there trying to become like a pop star and all that. I really enjoyed it. I love it. I got out the whole series. Another guilty pleasure, Jersey Shore. I admit it. I was watching it because I like to watch a train wreck. I grew onto some of the cast, most specifically Pauly D and Vinny, two of the most laid back people on that show. And I just kind of grew watching it. So whatever, it is what it is. And of course, we got another Nickelodeon show, Keenan and Kel, seasons one and two and three and four. It's mostly like the best of, but I think it's only missing a few episodes. It's very rare too, it's out of print. And of course, the Legend of Zelda animated series. I only have one collection of the Looney Tunes Platinum. These are actually hard to find. I think there's like three of them. The first two are the harder ones to find. Then we got Bugs Bunny collection on Blu-ray, Married with Children, the complete series, and the Shout Factory version of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It comes in still books. Great set, very rare and out of print. My so-called life. Grew up watching that show. It was on MTV and R.L. Stein's Nightmare Room. One season of Parks of Recreation, not collecting that. Love the show, Punky Brewster from the 80s. Grew up watching that, still love watching it. And I did like the reboot, but Peacock canceled it. So, goddamn, you know what? <laughs> but yeah, Punky Brewster, still watched it. I watched that recently, not too long ago. And then, of course, you get the Ren and Stimpy collection. You get the Ren and Stimpy Lost Episodes, Rocco's Modern Life, Complete Series, Complete Series of Roseanne, Regrets Grown Up. And this I actually got from a friend. Salute you shorts, Nickelodeon. It's a, they never made an official release, so it's actually signed by the person I got it from. You can probably figure that out. Appreciate it very much if you're watching this somehow. And of course, the Saved by the Bell collection from um, Shelt Factory, of course. Trying not to make this video too long. And now moving on into the rest which is actually in my bedroom on this little shelf. This is the rest of it. Couldn't fit it all on that one shelf. I have my movies on the bigger shelf and TV shows on the smaller shelf since I think I have less shows than movies, but I still have a good amount of shows, as you can see. And of course, Saved by the Bell, the new class, all pretty much season two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Season one's not as hard to find, but two, three through seven are very rare and hard to find and worth money. I believe six and seven are the most expensive, but I can watch Saved by the Bell any day, any time, and still enjoy it just as much as I did back then. Then you get the MTV series of Scream. They did an official release of Scream 1 on DVD, and I really enjoyed it. Season 1 was really good. Season 2, I think, was the one I was kind of like, eh. But I think the third, wasn't really a third season, but they did another season that kind of was like an spinoff of some sort. I didn't really enjoy them, that one that much, but the first season was great, so I'm keeping that. Another Nickelodeon show, Alex Mack, for those who might remember. One of my favorite shows of all time, again, Shameless. This is the U.S. version that was on Showtime. Love that show, one of the best. And these Simpsons ones, I was I was selling off my Simpsons DVD collection, but these have discs that skip and are scratched, so they're just sitting in my collection. MTV show called Skins. Again, this is an American version. They do have a UK version that was obviously out first, but I enjoyed it enough to buy it, and it's still somewhat out of print. Slasher Season 1, this was on that network, Chiller, that is no longer existing. And I think they did a, another reboot series of Slasher. I have not watched this, but I got it for the fact that it has the slipcover, and it's I love Slasher, so I figured why not. I haven't watched it, it's still sealed. Star Girl first season. I gotta get the second. I love that show, Star Girl CW. They do a lot of great shows for DC. I don't care what anyone says. All the ones that I have in my collection that you've seen, I enjoyed them all. And of course, I got Supergirl. This still book, I believe, was Best Buy. Target, I think it was this lenticular. Let's see. I think the rest are just. I think I'm missing one of the seasons. I'm not sure. I don't have the final season. I don't think. And then I got Swamp Thing. I think that was on the DC streaming service. Then I actually have the Tales from the Crypt complete series and have Tales from the Crypt Keeper season one. I need to get season two and three, but that's I think like $40 or something. And I got Ninja Turtles, the original series. I have all of them, I believe, except volume four. Other than that, I believe I have the complete series. Then I got like a That 70s Show holiday collection type thing. And then I got Tiny Toon season one, volume one and two. 
Todd in the Book of Pure Evil has Jason Mewes, the guy that plays um, Jay and Silent Bob. I definitely recommend looking this show up. I actually have it signed right there. Jason Mewes signed that. Definitely recommend looking that show up. It's another horror comedy. Out of the world, though. Like, out of this world, the comedy is just so raunchy. So if you like that kind of stuff, look it up. That was based out of Canada as well. Canada has the best shows, I swear. Like, literally. Prepare to have your mind totally blown. Take a group of pesky teens. Haven't you guys noticed? Trouble always comes to us. A dark magic book. The book of pure evil can give you anything you desire. Wicked. Wisdom from a janitor. You're already reading the magic words, aren't you? Sort of. Can you hand me my blood mop then? I'm gonna need it later. Then I got the complete series of True Calling. I got Viva La Bam Season 1. I, I mean... We all know that guy's gone through a rough patch. He still is, but I don't care. It was, it was very entertaining watching that show, and I still entertained by it. Then I got What I Like About You with Amanda Bynes, another actor, I guess you can say, who hit rock bottom, basically. Hopefully she gets better soon. And then Wild the Thornberry Season 1. That was at Dollar Tree as well. But that, yeah, that's all my TV series collection. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you're returning and you're already subscribed. I appreciate it very much. But guys, thanks for, you for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you would like to see next for a collection video. More wrestling DVDs, movies, Shelf Factory, I don't, like my most valuable movies, anything. Just drop some comments down below, guys. Let me know what you got in your collection, if, what you thought about these shows, if you have any of these. Sorry for the repeated moving. But... I'm trying to entertain you while I talk. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.